This series of videos will show parents how division is taught in primary schools and how you can support your child at home. In the previous video, we looked at the methods introduced in years one and two, division by sharing and grouping. These methods are continued in year three and further ones introduced. And these new methods will cover arrays, using a number line, and introduce the part whole model. The first method that is introduced around year three will be using an array. This has close links with multiplication and is really important children understand the relationship between them. It also builds on their understanding of grouping and sharing. So if your child needs a refresher on these, then please refer back to my earlier videos on these topics. My first example is 12 divided by three. My word problem is 12 bananas are divided between three chimpanzees. How many do they each get? I have my three chimps, A, B, C, and I give one banana to each chimp, so three, six, nine, twelve. So now we've reached our target number, we can stop counting. As before, if your child is struggling to count in groups of three, it's perfectly okay to go back a step and share the dots or bananas out counting in ones up to 12. Now looking at our array we can see there are four columns which gives us our answer. So putting the answer back into the question 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So the next progressive stage is using a number line to record either repeated addition or subtraction. And our example here is 28 divided by 7 and put into context a strawberry lace uh, costs 7p, how many can I buy with 28p? First we draw an empty number line with 0 at the start on the left hand side. We jump in sevens because that's what we are dividing by. So first jump takes us to seven. Adding seven takes us to 14. Another seven takes us to 21. And one more takes us to 28, which is the target number. So we can now count the jumps and we can see there are four of them and 28 divided by 7 equals 4. We can also do it as repeated subtraction where we start at our target number, 28 in this case, and jump down. So we jump down to 21, 14, 7 and 0. In my next example, I've got 84 divided by 6. And my question, problem question is, I need six nails to put up a shelf. How many shelves can I put up with 84 nails? Now, it would take me a long time to jump in sixes to 84, and it also opens up more opportunities for mistakes. So it's best now to jump on in bigger chunks or multiples. We draw an empty number line, a jump of 10 chunks of 6 takes you to 60 leaving 24 and using our 6 times tables or multiples that we could write down the side it should be clear that you need another 4 jumps of 6 to reach 84 and altogether that is 14 sixes, so therefore 84 divided by 6 equals 14. I'm now going to show you the part whole model using place value counters to teach division.
Here we have 84 divided by 4. I draw a grid with tens and units and then in a circle write the question 84 divided by 4. Then with my place value counters I partition the 84 into 8 tens and 4 units. So I have 8 yellow tens and 4 red 1 counters. Then using my whole part model diagram I can draw two circles coming off the original circle to show the partitioning and divide each of the tens and units by four. My grid can be divided into four rows as this is what I'm going to divide the counters up in. So I put one yellow tens counter in the first row and the second yellow tens counter in the second tens row and the third yellow tens in the third tens row and continue putting them in until they have all been used. I can see that each of the four sections has two tens counters in making 20 so 80 divided by 4 equals 20 and we can write that in the bottom left circle. Then we do exactly the same for the ones. There is one red counter in each section. And you can see that four divided by four equals one. And we can write that in the bottom right hand circle we can see that each row has two yellow tens and one single ones making 21 which can be put in the top circle and then back into the original number sentence. This is the end of the second video in the division series. The next and final one will look at the methods introduced in around years five and six. This will cover bus stop, chunking and our old favourite long division. So I'll see you next time.